All right, so I'm just gonna go through how I might go about drawing um, something based from life. So especially drawing a hand. Um, so I'm drawing this sort of thumbs up position like this so I can see the thumb and all of the fingers as well. And you know, you can use your hand to just look at it to draw. You could take a picture of your hand and work from a photo reference. It's up to you how you wanna do this. Um, so basically, I'm just going to use my actual hand, and what I do first is I very, very lightly map out, okay, what am I seeing, right? I'm seeing a thumb that goes kind of up, and then I'm seeing this whole section here. So I'm just going to like use a really light sort of circle, so just map that out. And I know you can't really see it that well on the camera, it's because I'm drawing so light. So this gives me a guideline. When I do stuff like this, it also helps me map it out on the paper, like how big do I want this? If I just start drawing this thumb and try to get all the details, you don't know how big you're gonna end up. You might end up with a hand that's like this little. So by giving these like structural gestural marks, okay, now I kind of map out, this is the size that it's gonna be. All right, and then from there, I can start really looking at more of the shape. Do not look at details right now. It, you, it's too early in the process to look at details. What I notice here with the thumb, the thumb moves backwards. It has curved back. I notice that it's pretty chunky all in here. This seems to be like all one kind of shape. If you look at this, it almost looks like a pear. Right, so I'll kind of beef this up a little bit. Again, with super, super light lines. And eventually I'll be able to erase all this kind of scribble once I get the shape where I want it. Okay, so now I'm looking more into the details. I notice my fingernail's a little long, so it has kind of a point. All right, so from here, I roughly got the shape of my thumb, roughly, right? Um, now I want to map out the distance from the thumb to the side of my fist here. So I actually like take my pencil and create the angle. And then I pick my pencil up, I don't move it, I keep that angle, and I lay it down on my paper. And so my fist, where my fingers are, is going to be roughly around here. And I'll just make a little mark there to help guide me. So now I can kind of get this more where I want it to be. All right, and then you want to start looking at the shapes here. So I notice this line here is pretty much straight out. Okay, this curves, and then it's going to kind of slant back in. Now, that little trick of using the thumb and the pencil to help get your angles right. It also helps get your distance right. So what I would do now is I could even use the pencil to kind of map out from the top of my thumb to the top of this finger. So roughly around here. Now I notice this finger kind of wraps around and I'm seeing these lines. Okay, so I'm going to, again, I'm not going into the details just kind of placing it out. And then I'm going to do the same thing. Now I want to notice with every finger, like when I'm doing this thumbs up pose, notice how the fingers kind of slant. So I'll give myself a little guide there. And again, I'm just mapping this out. I notice my pinky finger goes in a lot more. All right, so this looks funny. It looks funny. If there's anything you know you can get rid of, go ahead, get rid of it so you don't get too confused. All right, now I can start looking a little bit more into those details. So I'm still not going crazy with the details. I'm just still kind of focusing on that, like the edges. What kind of lines do I see? So I see like my thumb curves in a little bit here. So I'm gonna try and show that.
All right, and then you just want to kind of tidy up once you feel you got a good sense of the form. So I'm looking now just like all the wrinkles, make sure I got all those in there, at least the main ones. You don't want to draw every single one. That'll just be probably a little too much. Okay, so now I'm just cleaning up anything I know I don't need because I am ready to shade this in. And any um, lines that I press maybe a little too hard on, I'm just lightening those up a little bit. Um, because if I'm going for something realistic, you don't want these big, big, heavy, heavy outlines. You want the shadows and the light to um, communicate the forms, not necessarily all the lines. So now you want to begin shading everything in with a pencil. I recommend starting very light and just keep moving around the piece, finding your lights and darks. Again, look for the darkest darks, the lightest lights, and then go for all the in-betweens. And then tidy up anything you need to tidy up and just keep working with it till you get it exactly where you want it. I'm choosing to do just hatching marks only and cross-hatching for my piece.